I'm Ethan. And I'm Kat. And it is... Christmas Christ- Eve. Christmas Eve. Uh, a tradition here at our house is that we eat appetizers for dinner on Christmas Eve. Everybody does something a little different. Appetizers are our thing. And one of Kat and my favorite appetizers is... Steak tartare. Now, we've actually never made this before, so we thought, what better to do than to make it for the first time and make a video of what we did. So... We'll let you know how it tastes, too. Here we go. To start with, we've got a pound of meat. We went with filet. Filet mignon. Filet mignon. Filet. To start with, we need to get this guy out of the package. And the recommendation, everybody's always worried about bacteria. Since we're basically going to be eating this raw. Yes, raw. If you didn't already know, steak tartare is raw meat, raw beef. So, um, often referred to as, well, by us anyhow, tiger tiger meat. meat. (laughs) In stereo. Tiger meat. So the recommendation was to start by using salt, which is a bacteria killer. And basically liberally apply salt to the outside of your meat. Could you say it again, please? (laughs) No, Siri, we won't say that again, please. Hello, Siri. (laughs) Listening to everything. Turn, I turn that I turn that sucker off. I don't want to listen to you. So we've got salt on the outside of this. Now this looks like a lot of salt. Everybody's probably going, oh my Ugh. goodness. It's kind of making me cringe a little bit, actually. What we're gonna be doing after this has sit for a little bit is we're gonna rinse all of this salt off. It's just designed to be there to help disinfect any bacteria that's on the outside of the meat. So that in the freezer. And that in the trash. Got it, got it. Now, while that freezes, we're going to start with the rest of everything that needs to be prepped for this. So, we've got our bagel crisps. Those are done. We bought those. That was awesome. This, we're done with you. Done with that. Put you away. We've got some of our sides that we're going to put on our platter. We've got spicy brown mustard and horseradish mustard that we'll put on the side. Don't have to prep that. Also bought it at the store. So, how this works is we're going to have our tiger meat prepared. Steak tartare. It's gonna be finely chopped up. That's gonna go on a plate. Egg right on top of that bad boy. Egg yolk. Egg we'll get yolk. rid of the whites. We'll have some diced tomatoes, red onions, green onions, and capers. Those you kind of mix your combination on a little cracker, a little tiger meat. Mm, mm, mm. So we're gonna get this Delicious. stuff chopped up while that sits in the freezer. You got that one? I got this one. You see, he gave me the onion because when he chops onions, it makes him cry. I don't know why. I uh, have an issue with onions. Reminds me of uh, those sad puppy dogs or something like that, you know. I wonder if that's what they do in the movies. They just chop onions for people that need to cry? Just chop onions. That's all it would take for me. Hey, we need you to cry in this scene. Okay, somebody bring me an onion. Let's go. All right, so we've got this like that. Now we're gonna go through there. I'm getting off all the peel. I'm gonna toss this in the garbage and get it off of our cutting board so it doesn't get mixed in with anything because nobody wants to eat onion peel. Get rid of that and get rid of that. Considering this is December, tomato's not too bad. No, tomato looks good. We're gonna go a little bit finer. I think I need my own cutting board. You're sliding this one all over the place. Either that or I'm gonna cut a finger off. Easy now, chica. I didn't say your finger off. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so we are in the category. I know this is the uh, proper way to use this knife. I learned this in uh, all of the time I spent at culinary school back in the day. So anybody else that's been to culinary school, please leave in the comments below everything I am doing wrong while chopping up these tomatoes. All right, so tomatoes are chopped. That's a really big piece still. That's okay. No, chop that one more. Okay, how's that? Ta-da. Ta-da. My turn. Okay, I'm gonna transfer these. Hold on, I'll bring it closer. To our display platter. 
just a little bit more. Tomatoes, done. Okay, now it's time for some onions. I'm gonna set that back off to the side and chop an onion. Green onions. Oh man, that's getting me clear over here. I've only made like a few slices. How is that getting to you already? He's just a sensitive guy. I'm gonna see how much one half of a red onion takes up on our plate. And if we need more, I can easily dice up some more without hopefully cutting off a finger. Yeah, that one's not good. He like commandeers the entire cutting board. All right. Green onions, right there. Oh my goodness. This th this piece is giant. You need to cut that better. Your cutting skills. Oh, this, the onions are getting me. I'm sorry. I hate onions. Okay, chop. But you chop. love to eat them. So. I love to eat onions. I just do not like chopping. The chopping process is bad. Okay, so your onions, you need to chop them, right? I need to chop them, but you know, I also need the cutting board to stay fairly stationary while I do that. Got it. Ooh. Why don't you uh, rinse some capers and your eyes? Oh. <sighs> okay. I think a half is more than plenty. If we eat that many red onions, whew, that's gonna be a lot. Slide this over. All right, we have rinsed. This is my red onion spot. Okay. Heck, I might even only put a partial amount of these on there. You did a very nice job chopping. I did. I told everyone we need to take a vote on who did a better job on their dicing and slicing. Yeah, I definitely think that these are gonna be saved in the fridge for later. We'll use them in something else. Okay, so there, we nab our capers. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll spread them out pretty. Thank you. they rolly little things. All right, so. Okay, so now that we have all, this done, all of our prep work done, we still have to wait a little bit for the meat to chill just a little bit more, which is going to make it easier to dice up. So that means time for a cocktail. <laughs> we'll be back. So we got our dirty vodka martini. Huh? Would you like me to do the vermouth rinse? Yes. All you need is a is a, a wash. Dash. That's probably more than I needed. Swirl that around. Dump it out. Swirly, swirly, dump Whatever it out. Whatever stays in the glass, that's all we need. We got this nice and shaken okay. up. Sugar. I will take my martini shaken, not, not stirred. stirred. He poured me the short one. That's okay though. I'm kind of a lightweight anyway. Ta da! All right. Now that we have a. Mm. Dirty, just how I like it. Dirty enough? Delicious. Good deal. Clear off our drink making stuff. Awesome. We gotta be getting close on that steak. Pull it out. Let's we'll see what happens. We gotta rinse it. You only it, right? live once, right? And this is only to make it easier to chop anyway. So. It's chilled, it's salted, and now it's rinsing. So now what we're gonna end up doing is slicing this bad boy up, finely chopped, basically on the verge of being ground. Take it away.
<laughs> and we'll start like this. We need to sharpen this bad boy first. All right. Better? Mm, much. Doesn't take much. It does not take much. I'm just gonna sit on back, sip on my martini, and watch you do what you do. <laughs> what is it that I do? Slice the meat. Chop, 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 chop. We're gonna get rid of any of these tiny little gristle pieces because we're not gonna eat those. They grill nice, but... Since this isn't going to be cooked, the less of them that are in our meat, the better. We want it chopped pretty finely um, because, you know, we're gonna be eating it just on a cracker and we don't have to be too, too, too. So the finer it is, the better. We're getting there though. But we don't really wanna just like grind it up like hamburger either, because obviously we could have just thrown it in a grinder and then it would be done, but we prefer it to have a little more texture than that. Agreed? Mm-hmm. 100%. Now a lot of people go, ugh, raw beef. I could never eat that. I will tell you that I also was like, man, that's interesting. I mean, I love sushi. I could eat sushi for every meal of the day, most likely. But I wasn't sure if I could do it with raw beef. Tried it, decided I loved it. And then we just recently had a holiday party with our employees and all of the girls were like, mm, we'll try it. And they all liked it. So if you're unsure, I recommend at least trying it once. Oh, we're getting close here. Grandpa, Grandpa made a quick loop through. Just to see if we dropped anything, you know. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Mm-hmm. Got just this little bit here. What do you think? I think like that it? looks good. You like it? Mm-hmm. All right, so now we've got it all spread out here. We're gonna add a little bit of seasoning to our meat. And then it's about done. Okay, so a little bit of vinegar right on top. We're using balsamic vinegar. There we go. And a little bit of oil right on top. It says about a teaspoon-ish or so. Here, I'm sure we were close. I'll get it. Uh, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. You, I'll grind. You have meat hands. Meat hands. This is all to taste. However you want it, seasoned. Rock and roll, buddy. It's just how you would season a steak normally. Okay. We'll and mix then this mixy, all together. Mixy. Like my grandma used to say, until it's slushy. <laughs> until it's slushy. Mm -hmm. When she made meatloaf. What does slushy mean, Grandma? I don't know. It's just a feel. It's a does feel. Does it feel slushy? Um, I would say we're getting in the category of slushy-ish. Mm. All right. So now we got a measuring cup. This is just to make it into the form to display on our plate. About half of it in there. Pack it. There you go. All right. And one down. We'll get number two rocking and rolling here. Set it down. Oh. Set it down. I wasn't assisting properly. Hey, you eyeballed that pretty good. Half and half. It's not the only thing I eyeballed pretty good. Okay. 
And voila. Now, last but not least. And I will just little. time you out. Are we gonna put this in the fridge while I prep the rest of the appetizers? Yep. Okay. That's why it's on its own little plate. Okay. Now, we've got to crack and de yolkify. Okay, get me rid of some egg white there. Come on, jiggle it off. Jiggle it just a little bit. Come on. Oh, get a new egg. We're gonna throw that little bit of egg yolk on there. Water bottle, you can suck those out with. Mm -hmm. There's some egg yolk right there. And watch your hand, you're gonna get an egg white gloopy on it. Perfect. No, that's perfect. <laughs> and there you have it, in the words of Tipsy Bartender. Except we're gonna add just a spot for our mustard. I need to rinse my hands. Rinse your hands, rinse your hands. All right, let this cleaned up, this cleaned up. I'm gonna shake it a little bit so we don't have runny mustard going on here. Don't you love it when it does that? A little bit of horseradish. And a little bit of spicy brown. Perfect. Ta da! I love it. Looks delicious. Can't wait to try it out. We'll let you know how it is. Thanks guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time.